detectors. So as you have studied earlier, uh, uh, silicon photodiode detector, it consists of a reverse biased PN junction, which is formed on a silicon chip. So that uh, reverse bias that will create a, a depletion layer that reduces the conductance of the junctions to nearly zero. If uh, the radiation is allowed to impinge on this chip, if the radiation is allowed to impinge on this chip, just to uh, go through this, uh, just to look at this diagram. The generation of holes and electrons in the depletion layer and this causes a, a current which is proportional to the radiant power okay causes the so whatever the current produce is proportional to the radiant power and uh, this uh, this photodiode is more sensitive than the silicon diode detector is more sensitive than vacuum photo tube okay but less sensitive than a photo multiplier tubes and these photodiodes have a spectral ranges of from about 190 to 1100 uh, uh, nanometer. Right. So this is one type of photo, uh, photodiode detectors which you have studied earlier. Next comes uh, the linear arrangement of these photodiodes acts as a uh, linear photodiode arrays. Okay. So you have the reverse biased PN junction diode, which is being fabricated on a single silicon chip, right? So the, the, the number of the sensing elements in a chip can vary from 64 to 496, 4096, okay? So you can have these number of uh, sensing elements. So the radiation which is impinging on these photodiodes, the array of photodiodes, uh, you will get an equivalent electrical output voltage. This produces an output voltage where this can be, that can be pre-amplified and can be uh, uh, read in a meter. Okay. So this is the photodiodes being arranged in the form of an array. Forms a linear photodiode array. Next comes the uh, thermal detectors, which we have seen earlier uh, in your previous courses, right? So the phototransducers or uh, uh, phototransducers are not generally applicable for the infrared uh, uh, region of the spectrum, cannot be used. So uh, because this infrared energy, uh, infrared radiations lacks energy to emit uh, uh, to emit electrons, okay. So, uh, hence thermal transducers can be used for this uh, range of uh, electromagnetic spectrum. So, these thermal radiations from say for example in a human body, whatever be the IR radiations being emitted can be captured. So, that's how they designed and uh, uh, IR thermometers. Okay, based on that principle, the IR radiations being emitted will have some heat energy content in it. So, based on that heat energy, you have studied in your previous courses about uh, the thermocouples, right? So, those thermocouples are temperature transducers, which works on the principle of a Seebeck effect. When two dissimilar metals are joined together to form two different junctions, and EMF is developed across the uh, across the uh, junctions, right? A, a voltage develops between the two junctions that varies with the difference in their temperature. Uh, this is the principle of a thermocouple, and these thermocouples have high stability, and the output voltages are often on the order of microvolts. Okay, this is about the thermocouple which we have done earlier. So, the first thermal detector uh, we are looking upon is the thermocouple. The next one is the thermistor, thermistor bolometer. Okay, thermistor is nothing but a thermal resistor. So, you have uh, NTC type of thermistor which is nothing but negative temperature coefficient of resistance. 
and a uh, PTC type of uh, thermistor, positive temperature coefficients. And the thermistors are available in different types like beads, uh, you have small disc type and uh, have cylindrical shapes and rod types, you have different types of thermocouples. And uh, these thermocouples being uh, encapsulated with an impermeable material such as epoxy or glass. Right, so this is this is another temperature transducer. Right, all these things, these things you uh, in the uh, you have studied earlier. So just look at this construction. So look at the diagram of this. A thick black and tip. So this is a thick black and tip allows the absorption of radiation, which uh, heats the thermistor. And when the thermistor is uh, placed in the uh, bridge stone bridge circuit arrangement, there will be a change in the, whenever the temperature rises, the unbalance of the bridge is being detected. Okay. And uh, the unbalance of the bridge being detected as an voltage and that voltage is uh, proportional to the amount of radiation. So specifically, these temperature transducers used for IR uh, to detect the IR radiations. Okay, so temperature transducers or 